there's something about uh, not seeing something that is very close to art. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain that, but I think that with the overwhelming impact of the media nowadays, I mean, we live in a mediated global society uh, with fractures everywhere, but that's where we are in terms of our uh, evolution, I suppose. But uh, the, the point is that uh, uh, we have to deal with, uh, with, with what is real. And uh, what, what is real is, is still part of the tactile world. And that quality of tactility is something that I want very much to communicate through my art. Because I think we need a kind of uh, uh, alternative, shall we say, or a kind of counterpart to the, uh, uh, the overwhelming impact of the media and pervasiveness and omnipotence of the media, or presumed omnipotence. We have to uh, move uh, beyond that single way of thinking, assuming that that's always the case. I mean, we, we can know it's there, but we can also know that we are here, and that we are alive, and that we are functioning in the world as artists, and therefore to make something that can communicate our sense of the haptic is very important. And uh, this is my position. Now this... Uh, has some kind of implants of uh, transgression in relation to how marketing is done nowadays. And of course that's been an ongoing theme of mine for many, many years since my book, The End of the Art World, which came out, uh, when was that, in 15 years ago? Hard to believe, 1998. But uh, in many ways that book predicted a lot of what has happened, but always looking for an idealistic uh, point of view in terms of how we can get beyond that automatic uh, seduction of uh, a mediated market complicity. Okay, how can we move through that? Uh, how can we deal with it and make it function for us, but at the same time not confuse it with what we do as artists? And I think that this is a major issue that a lot of artists have to deal with if they're conscious of what they're doing. Hopefully they are. I think that uh, awareness of consciousness in relation to painting is an extremely important idea, uh, an extremely important reality. Okay? that we have to really get into that position that we are functioning in time and space and that we are the ones that are making decisions in terms of what is happening on the picture plane as we're in the process of working. As we're mixing the color, as we're applying the color, the awareness of the light that is happening in process before the light settles in terms of the picture plane. That is important, that we are possessed by this sense of every aspect of the painting coming into a holistic uh, representation. Not, not re I hate the word representation because that's opposite from what I'm trying to do. But uh, let's say a holistic presentation, okay? I like the idea of a, uh, the French would call it a présentement, okay? You know, something that is present, okay? Uh, this is what I'm interested in terms of doing. Now, again, getting back to the yin-yang idea that to, to, to create presence in a work of art is also to allow for absence because they both have to be there. Just as reflection and absorption have to simultaneously exist in painting, so is presence and absence because ultimately there is a kind of uh, system of signs. I suppose we can talk about that in terms of uh, not exactly semiotics but in terms of a language or a vocabulary of art. Okay, And I know that I'm drawing on that and some of the time I am very conscious of it, and some of the time I'm not so conscious of it. Uh, both are okay, all right? Uh, for example, people come over here and we talk and they look at something of mine and say, well, Robert, you know, where did this form come from? And I have to think, I said, well, gee, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking of something 25 years ago, 30 years ago, that I did where that form appears. And that's happening all the time. But I never want to coerce that point of view. In other words, I'm not trying to suggest that I always know where I'm coming from because I don't. Frankly, I'm always in doubt. I think that that's the way of art. Certainly the way of the artist, at least for me. Because if certainty is always present, then it's a little boring. I need to open up the threshold of doubt in order to see what might be possible that I don't know about. And that's why when I begin a painting, I don't always know exactly where I'm going, okay? Even though it looks that way, people think, oh, well, you know, you've sort of mapped it out. Well, yes, I've mapped it out, but 
how that map manifests itself in terms of a physical reality, in terms of a material reality, is, is something else.